So I want to start with um, a poem called Metabhavna on a Hill Walking Retreat, which some people have heard. Uh, in order to do this, I need to know who knows what Metabhavna is. Anybody know what Metabhavna is? Any Buddhists in the house go on run? I don't know what Metabhavna means. <laughs> <clears throat> Not to bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know what Metabhavna is, it's a meditation. Uh, it's a Buddhist meditation to uh, encourage you to feel loving kindness and oh, compassion oh, towards oh. the world. Isn't that lovely? Oh, 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 oh. Nice. And uh, what you do is you start with yourself, and you imagine yourself as being the best you can possibly be, and you think to yourself, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be free from suffering. <coughs> lovely. And then you think about people that you really like or love, and you think, may they be well, may they be happy, may they be free from suffering, it's lovely. And then you do it for people who piss you off, and that's not so much fun at all, but that's where the really interesting stuff starts to happen. So, <clears throat> um, would it be okay if I got a quick drink of water? Has anybody got... Oh, sorry. Once again, Andy is the saviour, the saviour of poets. <laughs> so this is Meta Bardner on a hill walking retreat. Cross your fingers that I can remember it all. <clears throat> the girl from London told me what she did. And where she lived, and what she could eat, and what she couldn't eat, and what I should eat, and what I shouldn't eat, and what she drove, a car. <laughs> and how of everybody here, she really, really needed this retreat. Beneath our feet, green galaxies of moss starburst from millennial mud. Above us, on the slopes, woolly lichened boulders flocked and chewed the taste of ice sheets in their cups. At our right hand, a perfect, perfect river ran, talking to itself like a toddler, slipping and plunging over tilted slabs of stone. And the girl from London showed me exactly where we were, using the map app on her latest generation iPhone. And she said, oh, isn't it amazing here? It's so quiet. Like There's nobody here. It's just incredible. I can really hear myself. I think I can really hear it. It's absolutely amazing. I feel so, so relaxed. It's like the pressures of the city are completely renounced. And she bounced and bounced and bounced. Hit the path, made tracks, and made she do well. <laughs> may she be happy. And may she be free from suffering. So, the path led us into a pine wood home of light. The air hung raked and slatted and the path was alive with a thousand golden spiders dancing high knee tarantellas. And the girl from London chatted and she chatted and she chatted <laughs> about this, that, the other fella, the one she'd loved, the one she'd lost. Oh, the pain, the human cost, but how they'd loved and how they'd kissed. <laughs> Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, lawyer, Satanist, the one who could only get it up when she was wearing leather. <laughs> and all around us, the slender, laddered pods of the willow herb snapped and spat feathers. <laughs> seeds, seeds, feathery seeds on the breeze. May she be well, may she be happy, may she be free from suffering. And at last, the lookout point, the rallying point of the clans. And the valley lay waiting for us, holding silver in its hands. The lock, a melted ingot in the lost wax of the land. And the girl from London, wild to find four bars out of five, turned her back and told London she'd arrived. And everything's great, it's really great, it's amazing, it's absolutely great here, it's so great. And beneath my dangling feet, a buzzard without weight, in one booming downstroke, shouldered his way through the muscles of the air and was gone forever. 
and I turned my boots towards home and the girl from London tagged along. <laughs> and she asked me, how do you get on with this mindfulness stuff? You know what I mean? Just like really being mindful about things and just like not letting anything encroach and just kind of being sitting and being in the moment because I'm finding it really so much easier here. It's incredible. I can do it really, really easily. And in London, you know, it's so difficult and I've got to keep up so much culturally, you know, and socially, you know, and happening. It's so distracting. And I said, yes. I said to her, yes. I can see how all of that would make it very, very hard for you. I can see how it would be more important to you than, for example, the silence and the pause between a leaf falling and a leaf falling and the many, many different shades of violet in the sky. But don't worry, I can help you. And I took out my gun and... <laughs> <laughs> I was doing her a Now, silence for her is a piece of cake. And the hedgerows behind her head, look, they're festooned with shining clots of arterial red. No, it's just a spray of rose hips. And actually, it's my mistake. May she be well. <laughs> May she be happy.